Today I've got a video about the belt I use for USPSA pistol shoots as well as 3-gun and multi-gun events. So this gun belt I originally used for USPSA pistol competitions then I adapted it for 3-gun. So for 3-gun you need a holster, a few shotgun shell holders, there's a whole bunch of those, a few pistol mag holders, usually two to three will do, and then at least one rifle mag pouch. I've got two, but I've never needed more than one for the short stages I run. So just to give you an idea of what this looks like loaded up, if you've never used it, the pistol mags are usually loaded forward, the rifle mag is forward or back, depending on your preference, and then the shotgun shells are loaded based on however your loader is. This is a uh, carbon arbs pinwheel. This is a shotgun load two setup, so the shells are loaded vertically. So the belt itself is a CR speed high torque belt. It runs about $50, it comes in a whole bunch of different trim colors, and the way this works is, there's two belts, an inner belt that goes through your belt loops like a normal belt, and it's pretty stiff, but it's got the uh, the loop side of Velcro on it, so you put that in place of your belt, then you take the outer belt, which has the hook part of the Velcro, and you lock it around it, so this will go right onto you, and it secures it pretty pretty well. You also use these little things called belt keepers to secure it so it doesn't come off, when you're running around or you know going over obstacles or whatever. So for my pistol holster, I use a Blade Tech Black Ice Dropped Offset holster. It's good for a uh, three gun where there's no climbing of obstacles. I like it. It's got two tension screws, and at least for my four and a half inch XDM, the muzzle doesn't protrude out. So I've got this pretty light because I was using it for uh, quick draw kind of things. Uh, you can see I've got it with the adjustable stingray loop right here, so you can move these notches and this plastic uh, tab up or down based on your belt size. This gives you a pretty good retention, I like it a lot. For rifle mags I use the Blade Tech AR-15 mag pouch made out of polymer. I like this one because it's versatile and it can point the mag forward or backward depending where you want it or how you like it or which side of the body you're, you have it on. It also has two tension screws. I've had very good luck with this with 30 round AR mags. It also does come with the tech locks so you can you know change those or reverse a plate or move it however you want it. I've been very happy with this. It's a secure. The only issue was it didn't work with a 20 round GI mag. When I talked about the mag angle, you can have the bullets backward, so you pull it up and then push it forward into battery, which is my preferred way, or you can go the other way where you kind of grab it and twist it and then put it into battery. For shotgun, I use a Carbon Arms pinwheel system. This one's set up for eight shells. It was defaultly sold with six. This comes with a tech lock again, so you can move it around or put it on a different mounting bracket if you want. I again added Velcro to get better attachment to my belt. So you can put however many arms between one and five arms, which is two to ten shells. And this is with the load two method, where you grab them and then you jam them into your shotgun. These are very expensive, so for a back plate that holds six rounds, it's 72 bucks. For pistols, I went with the CR Speed Versa mag pouch. These run 30 to 35 bucks. I put Velcro on the back of these to keep them against the belt. They go through belts up to, I believe, an inch and a half and they're adjustable for the angle. And they have interchangeable plates so you can fit different mags. So you just turn it with an Allen and then you can cant it however you like it. And then there's that large metal tensioning knob so you can get the fit and kind of the friction level that you want. You can see there I used a furniture bumper pad because my USB tactical magazines didn't fit with any of the polymer inserts that came with the set. And so those are some of the polymer that work well for my XDM mags. So that's the belt and the gear I use for 3-gun. I'm not saying that this is the best, this is just what I picked up based on a lot of research. It seemed to work out really well. Again, it started out as a pistol setup and then it transformed into multi-gun, and since the belt's so modular, it wasn't a problem. Another really popular belt as an alternative to the CR Speed is the Safariland ELS belt, and that runs about $50. I believe that's a leather and it's still a two-belt system, but it's got holes where you mount to forks, so it's a very rigid retention versus the ELS, the things are kind of free-floating, and you have to attach more Velcro to get them to stay put. For pistol, I went with universal mag pouches because I knew I was going to swap around between several different guns, and they work pretty well. You can buy single-gun mag pouches, and they are generally cheaper, so if you know you're not going to float around, that might be a better way. Having the adjustable cant is really helpful, so that is one uh, thing I would recommend. For shotgun shells, there are a lot more options in the past few years than there used to be. It was just the vertical shell loaders, which I personally hate. You traditionally load offhand, and I'm not very good with my left hand. So the carbon arm pinwheels I had are very good. There's also something made by TACOM, which costs about 35 for 6 which is about half the price for the carbon arms pinwheels. 
One of the reasons I'm showing the belt right now is because I'm going to make it totally modular with QLS mounts, which will uh, require a little bit of finesse for the CR Speed Versa mag pouches because they are not meant to attach to those. So with some nuts and bolts and some free time in the next couple months, I'll be getting those on there so they can pull off a mag pouch or a shell holder between stages at a match. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a comment and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. And as always, thanks for watching my little videos.